guys, what's up? It's Natalie. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're doing a little wrap with me. Hopefully my mom and my sister won't watch this. I know Sam probably would. So I'm going to leave out his little gifts. I'm not going to say what they are, just in case he is watching. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. I am so excited, guys. We're kind of halfway through. I'm super excited for this video. I've been wanting to do it and just been pushing it off because I'm waiting for more presents to get here. Pretty sure all of them have came. So yeah, I actually have one more gift. I think I should go get it. Maybe. Yeah, let me go get it. <laughs> okay, so for today's video, we're doing like a little wrap with me. I just got the last gift. I'm super excited. I've been waiting for literally all of the gifts to get here, and now that they're finally here, we can begin. I thought I was smart to keep everything in the like boxes. However, I don't remember. Actually, no, I think I do. I think I'm okay. So, let me get my wrapping paper. I actually don't know if this is gonna be enough wrapping paper, but this is what we have. I feel like I should start. Am I missing something? I am. Found them. I was missing the tags. Okay, now that I have it, I feel like I have everything and I can just get started. So I didn't go crazy this year on gifts. I mean, I kind of did, but I didn't. I really wanted to get big gifts for my mom and my sister just because they helped me a lot this year. Especially with like announcing my pregnancy and um, planning my baby shower and everything. They've just like been amazing and I really appreciate it. So I wanted to go big for their Christmas presents this year. Um, so I got them big items, like expensive items. I'm gonna do my mom's first because hers is the biggest. I mean, I also got Sam really good gifts. One of his gifts, he already opened it and put it together was a shelf, like a glass shelf, which was pretty cool. But I'm happy I didn't have to like wrap it because that would have been very hard to wrap. It was like two huge boxes that I couldn't even lift. His brother had to like help me bring it inside. So happy I didn't have to wrap that. And if I'm being honest, I'm not the best wrapper, so this is going to be interesting. I should probably like Google how to wrap big items like this, but I think I'm just gonna wing it. It's very hard to do pregnant. Okay, I think that's good. Perfect. So I bought my mom I don't know if you guys can hear me. I bought my mom for Christmas an espresso machine. And it's really funny because last night she asked me if she can use my Keurig. I was like, oh my God, of course. Well, this morning she asked me because she was making coffee. I was like, of course. And she was like, I love your Keurig. I'm going to have to get one of these. And I was like, yeah, they're great. And then I was like, um, my sister, because my sister has a, an espresso machine. I was like, tips has a really good espresso machine like did you like hers when you tried it and she was like eh, it was all right i was like okay i just spent a lot of money on this hopefully it's more than okay so we will see if she likes it or hates it i feel like i should literally just do this we cut it should i yeah i hate wrapping gifts <laughs> Because I know how bad I am at wrapping gifts and I own how bad I am with wrapping gifts. And I think my family knows. The fact that there's a holiday that makes you wrap gifts, not really my thing, but that's okay. She's gonna have to like my wrapping because I'm not trying to impress anyone here. Okay, that's good. So I've been watching a lot of TikToks on how to wrap and some lady was like, it's all in what you like fold. Like when you fold it good, it wraps good. And I was like, oh, never tried that method before. So I'm gonna try folding it nicely and pray that that works because that's what the lady on TikTok said. For some reason, I'm like really trusting her. I mean, she like looked like a mom, so. Which is so weird because I'm going to be a mom. Like how weird is that? Like I'm taking advice from a mom because she's a mom. But I'm going to be a mom and I still don't know really how to wrap. I still can't believe that. Like that's crazy. 
Anyways, if you're new to my channel, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and I am 20... This week I'll be 25 weeks pregnant, which is insane to me because this is going by so fast. And I'm having a little girl, so I'll be having a daughter. Super excited about. I'm in her nursery right now. If you couldn't tell with the crib and the pink walls and stuff, we're in her nursery. We just had the baby shower. I'm actually having two baby showers, but we just had the first one this past weekend, um, which was really fun. I got so many good gifts, which I'm so thankful for. Really fast, I'm done with this side. I don't know if anyone can see it. You can't see it, it's okay. <laughs> it's literally fine. But um, yeah, we got like a lot of really, really good gifts on my registry that were from my registry. I'm so thankful for. I wonder if you could just fold this. Oh my gosh, you can. <gasps> saving tape but yeah I'm super excited basically I'm nervous to be a mom I'm really not nervous to like deliver but I'm nervous to be someone's mom if that makes sense like I love my mom so much and I feel like she sometimes can do no wrong like in my head so and I know I do wrong stuff all the time like so for someone to think highly like that of me be pretty cool I can't believe how well I wrapped this oh my goodness anyways I'm back to my mom's gift I bought her an espresso and I'm praying that she loves it as much as I paid for it because if she doesn't I'm gonna cry and she can return it and get something way cheaper so did I lose the little stickers again I love my packaging this year I think it is so cute I like never pick out my own wrapping paper. I always just take my mom's and my sister's leftovers. We do like a little theme every year. This year, I really, really wanted to make it kind of special. And I wanted to do pink because we're having a girl and I don't have a pen. My life is a wreck. I need to go get a pen. One gift done. The next gift is going to Sam. I want to do the pink, so I have pink and white wrapping paper. I want to do the pink wrapping paper for my sister and my mom, and then the white I want to do for, I want to do for Sam and Tank, my dog. So this is Sam's gift, like I said. I'm not saying what it is because I know he watches my videos, and I want this to be a surprise for him because it's Christmas. It should be a surprise. Yeah, Sam's probably one of the easiest people to shop for just because of his interest. Like, he loves anything Marvel. He just loves things. And I know, I think when you live with someone, you know what they need, especially when it's like a boyfriend. Um, like, I knew for a fact he needed shirt because I feel like when I got pregnant, he started gaining weight because I was gaining weight and we were just not eating the healthiest which is like completely fine and understandable. It's up to me to cook. I cook what I basically am feeling for that day, which is normally like pasta or, wow, I just wrapped this completely wrong. Cool. We don't eat that great because of what I'm craving. My cravings have been like really weird. It's like pasta, chocolate chip cookies, McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, and I feel like he's obviously going to eat what I eat because we live together and we always have like dinner together almost every single night. It's hard for us, it's especially hard for him to eat healthy. I should put the camera back a little bit more, or even right there, so you guys can actually see what I'm wrapping. I think that's better. I think it's easier when you live with someone to buy them gifts. Lady said... Now, I've never saw her, like, like, how am I supposed to wrap this? She didn't show me how to wrap gifts like this. I wrap that other gift so well. I feel like I have too much, like, paper right here. Maybe I should cut it. Maybe if I, like, go, like, this way. I feel like it should go, like, uh, Hey, this is so hard. Fold it one more time and then do it. Okay, that's what we're going with. That was literally, he's gonna make fun of me for wrapping a gift this bad. Oh well, be thankful. Wrapped with love. Have to do it all over again. Fantastic. Of course, my wrapping job would be horrible on his gift. 
Like, of course. It wouldn't be like my dog's gift. It would be his gift. Like, I'm pretty sure Cinderella's mice could have wrapped this way better than me. But it's with love. So I think that's all that really matters, right? And he's getting a circle. Oh my god, did I lose my pen? If I lost my pen, I'm not finishing wrapping tonight. How do I lose a pen? Actually, how do you lose a pen? Okay, two. Okay, it looks like Bam, but it's Sam. Next, I'm going to do Sam's gift again because this has been a pain to buy. This thing has been such a pain to buy. I'm not gonna say what it is because he knows what this is, I feel like, or he doesn't. And that way, I don't have to say what it is. He's just gonna be like opening it up and be so shocked. This is exactly what I want. And this one, I kind of just want to get this one done and over with because I really don't want him to know what this is. And it's been killing me because I've been wanting to give this to him so badly. I want him to be surprised. It's Christmas. I feel like I'm one of the worst gift givers because I just want them to have the gift and like know what it is. But I also want them to be surprised. Oh, trick. I feel like big packages aren't as hard to wrap as little packages. I think that's really my takeaway from doing this is big packages, not that hard to wrap. I'm so excited for him to open this gift. Wow, I, I packaged this so far so well. I'm like impressed with myself. I'm also praying that I don't run out of wrapping paper because I got the deal from like Target, that's like four rolls for like six dollars. And I did not notice they were this thin. I literally just started bending paper back, grabbing paper, and it turned out perfect. I'm so proud of myself for packaging this so well. For Sam is done. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh, right. <laughs> what did I get my sister for Christmas? Okay, Tank is getting this wrapping paper. So, so every year, well, not every year, but um, for the past couple months, we've been getting him BarkBox. He loves BarkBox. So, it comes monthly, which is really nice. So, this month, I'm saving it for Christmas because he loves the toys in here. It comes with toys and treats, and he loves both. So, I'm like... Might as well just save it for him so he can have it for Christmas. I feel like I'm going to wrap tanks the best. So anyways, he gets toys and treats and he knows what BarkBox is. So when it comes, I feel like they like spray it with something that's like irresistible for dogs because tank goes crazy when he realizes he gets BarkBox, like BarkBox team. So I'm excited to see Tank's face when he finds out that bark box for Christmas. We don't mess up. No, this isn't working. I'm gonna have to do it with my right hand. No! Don't rip! Don't rip! I did it again! What is up with me? I keep wrapping this completely wrong. Okay, I think I can do this. Tank's gift, I think, is probably going to be the worst wrapped because of how I'm wrapping this. Thought I cut it to like the exact amount so I wasn't gonna waste any paper. Turns out I was completely off, so that's always cool. I'm so excited to see his face. When he sees this, he's gonna get so excited. Wow. I am so happy that this is my dog's gift because if I would never give anyone a gift that's like wrapped like this. This is a perfect example of how bad I'm wrap I am at wrapping. Like I think we started off strong and then like completely it's just going down. But like I wish I could just like go like that and I can't wrap the whole thing. What is going on? Oh my gosh. Like how does this just rip? I have an idea. What, what if I just like 
Got a little tape. This is gonna be one heck of a gift wrap. I mean, it's not horrible. I did leave out like the side. I don't think anyone will notice it if it's like face down. I used like half the row on this one little gift. Next is my sister's gift. I'm just gonna like wrap it in this because why not, right? I got her frame. It's really cute. It says me and my aunt. Yeah, me and my aunt and it's super cute because she's so obsessed with my daughter and my daughter's not even born yet. But it's really cute because she sings to her. Like loves her as much as I do. I wanted to get her this. I got my mom basically the same one. And it says I love my grandma. And we're not calling my mom grandma. We're calling her lovey because she doesn't look like a grandma. And I can't picture my mom being called grandma. So we're calling her lovey. And I think that's really cute. I love this wrapping paper. It is so cute. I love Target. When I went on their website, they had categories and it was like five and below and like 15 and below and you can literally go on there and find gifts for such an affordable cost. Okay, how do you wrap this? I need to follow the lady on TikTok because she can wrap literally every anything. She wrapped like a basketball and it came out perfect. And here I am trying to do this like little tiny box from Target and I can barely even do it because there's so much wrapping. I feel like next year it's going to be such a different vibe because of the baby. I'm so excited. Like especially because I have like a shopping problem. I feel like this is going to just be so much fun getting her stuff that she doesn't need. And I also want to kind of like start a tradition where we give to people in need. I remember I remember being in school and had a program we could have done where it's like all about giving back. It was really cool because it was on a Christmas tree and you got to pick basically who you wanted to buy like a gift for. They'd say like the story of the person. It could be like a five-year-old girl. She loves no white and like it's just really good to just give back to people who can't really afford it. I used to love doing it because we all went shopping to buy this random person like a gift. Because obviously they couldn't afford it. I hope when my baby grows up, my daughter, I hope when my daughter grows up, she understands the importance of like the holidays and it's not like all about gifts you receive and it's really not even about gifts it's more about the religion you believe in and giving back to people who like don't get like a normal christmas like i can't even imagine growing up and like not waking up on christmas without gifts so i hope she grows up and realizes how lucky she is and gives back Now I'm wrapping Sam's birthday gifts because his birthday is on the 30th and I, my camera was dying so I had to do some stuff off of camera because I'm not the best at wrapping as everyone knows. So I don't want him to know the price on anything. I'm just ripping off the tags but basically basically um i got my sister airpods and i got tank bark box and i got my mom the espresso machine i'm debating whether or not i want to wrap sam's gift in holiday wrapping paper or if I should just leave them outside. I don't know. Maybe I'll just get like a big bag for him. This room's like happy birthday. I don't really know. But I'm almost done. I only have like a couple more things to wrap and then that's it. Oopsies.
my final packages. I'm really happy I didn't video it because I was really struggling and I, some of these are really bad. see if I have like a box for all this so I don't have to get wrapped all this because this is a lot anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys